So today's video is an update in regards to our child's selective eating. I did a video a year from now, and this is just to give you a, 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 give me something. I need to, I need a word. Um, what's happening so far and what help we had and, and let me get to the video, please. So our child is at a stage where he's actually trying new food and i'm so excited i'm so nervous i'm so emotional i'm just overwhelmed what a journey we had with him but with patience and giving him new food every day he's made it he's still at that stage but he's much better than what he was before and i'm going to tell you how it started when it started and how i felt so let's get to it last year um our son tried fish fingers for the first time because currently not currently prior he never ate meat nothing no fish nothing that swims in the water nothing that walks on land he didn't eat it apart from greens last year at home with my mom which we call her coco for respect with coco um coco gave him fish fingers for the first time he looked at it he smelled it he licked it and he was like and then coco encouraged him oh i thank my mother having grandparents is the most amazing support system in the world i'm telling you and aunties and uncles as well but mom or grandparents voila so coco gave our son fish fingers for the first time he smelled it he licked it he thought huh is this life or is this life so he tried it for the first time and he, his face wasn't obviously happy because he's trying, um, you know, meat, you know, fish, meat, not red meat, white meat. Um, he's trying fish and um, his face changed. The texture was different for him. So he tried it and um, he ate it. I cried. I cried. I cried and I cried. Sorry, guys. Ooh, tissue. Okay, so I cried because he doesn't eat meat. Yeah, guys. So like, sorry. He he would he. I just couldn't believe that he tried fish. Sorry, guys. He tried fish for the first time, and my heart felt like, wow, this is my son trying meat. Like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, keep it together. Keep it together it's a big step like i don't know how to explain it. it's a big step for us for him to actually try me so he tried it and he liked it so what i did is that um hold on i'm gonna come back <sighs> okay so he tried the meat and he loved it he liked it so we started buying fish things for him he would try it at home i would just sit there and watch him and i'd be like is this really our son eating meat like this was the biggest achievement he did it. He ate that fish fingers and I felt so happy. I felt so happy and at the same time, I just couldn't believe that he tried fish fingers. And then moving forward, he's, he's not eating fish fingers. He's eating a fish cake. Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's a grandma. Coco. So this year now at nursery, he tried um, tomato soup. He had a funny things oh my bed is rumbling i'm always hungry when i'm doing these videos i need to actually feed myself before i make these videos because this is ridiculous as my son would say anyway let's get to it let's get to it oh i'm smelling food oh, oh my god okay so he tried tomato soup and um you know i said to him they told me i never see tried tomato soup i didn't believe them so i said to them please just take a video to show me that he's eating tomato soup so they took a video they sent it they sent it to me and i was like oh my goodness he's eating tomato soup so what i did is i bought obviously i purchased tomato soup at home so that he can obviously try it with bread and then he came i said to him i said to him you try i saw you you tried tomato soup at nursery do you want to have it at home he goes no and i said why he goes because it's yucky and i said huh he said my mom because it's yucky and i was like but you he said but mama wait 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 i'll try it at nursery i won't try it at home because it's yucky <laughs> so, 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 no. 
So I said, hold on. So you'll try you'll try it at, at school, a nursery, but you don't want to try it at home because it's yucky at home. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? And then fast forward, and then um, the months went on. This this is this year, yeah? This year. And then come, I think, um, February, March, he tried chicken. Hallelujah. Let's take this opportunity to just clap for my son for trying chicken. Let's go. <laughs> so he tried chicken and I stood there behind the door watching him. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't aware that I was at ready at the nursery watching him eating chicken because I wanted to catch him eating chicken. <laughs> okay, no, I'm so excited. Sorry, guys. So he tried the chicken and I was like, <gasps> bon. Nous sommes là, les petits là, mange les chicken. Sorry, French. Uh, uh, I was like, so this is, so basically, all of this was given to me by the um, nutrition um, that um, we need to bring him back to basic and for him to start from foundation eating, meaning for mash mash, um, play, um, smell taste then he will go on to try new food because with um with our son he was eating everything as i mentioned prior to one of my videos that he ate everything but as soon as he started nursery he was like boom bang goodbye food so yeah so we did that um working with the professionals and he's at this stage where he's actually trying new food so what i tend to do with him is if i'm eating something for example let's say burger for steak um, if I'm eating burger, he'll, go, he'll tell me, mum, it's burger. And I go, yeah, I said to him, do you want to try it? He goes, no, I said to him, why don't you just lick it? So what he'll do, he'll lick. And then after, he'll taste, he'll sit there and try to understand, you know, the texture of it. Professionals helped us and um, it was a wonderful experience to get that support system. I had to literally push for that support system. And, you know, we've made it now he's eating slowly by slowly he's trying new food at nursery he'll tell me uh you know what he's tried and the texture of it at the moment he's he's refusing um chicken which is no problem at all as long as he's eating fish i am very happy with that it's a start it you know we've come a long way and you know i just need to take it at a pace where he is feeling comfortable eating new food and trying new food so you know if words could explain how i'm feeling i feel like i've achieved we have achieved something with greatness and i, I hey it's getting hot I, I, I am just happy that we've come here and we've made it and now that he'll be starting school september he won't he won't say yucky no he'll probably say yucky yeah so yucky. <laughs> you probably say yucky, but at least he will try new food and you know he'll give it a go. So I've always said to him that if you don't like something, always try it first. And if it's not nice, then don't eat it. But as long as you've tried, that's all that matters. A little try, that's all that matters. So uh, when I'm cooking food at home, I do cook meat products inside as well, red meat, so that that fragrance, that taste, that smell of the meat is within the food that he's eating. He might not be aware of it, but it's there. But when he's seeing meat at home, like when I've cooked meat, he'll be like, you know, mama, what's that? And then when I tell him what it is, and I tell him to try it, he, he's literally refusing me. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, he'll just tell me he's yucky. And I just end up laughing because I kind of find it funny in a way. But yeah, so that's the stage that we're at. And I'm very happy with that. And we're going to continue going with that as well. What we are doing currently now in order to encourage him to continue eating and trying new food is cooking with him. So when we're cooking food or when I'm cooking food, he will participate in preparing the food, cutting the food and peeling the food and um, mixing the food with me so that he's getting that sense of the smell of the food and what he's gonna eat and I also give him the option to choose what he would like to cook with me and then we'll cook it together um, when it comes to like pudding wise and desserts he has no concerns whatsoever why is that because it's sugar obviously 
but um i always get him to cook with me as much as possible when we're doing like um role play he will also participate with that when we're when we are doing um sorry when we're doing role play because he lost he, when we're doing role play because he loves play-doh we'll cook certain foods that he'll like for example he'll tell me spaghetti bolognese or or noodles for example <laughs> or noodles for example he, he will make that with me and then we'll role play it he'll ask me when we're doing shopping like toy shopping he'll go mama do you want a burger mama do you want a do you want a hamburger mama do you want chicken so he'll name all these food that i eat like it's nothing i'll be like Oh baby, if only you can start eating them as well, that would be fantastic. But slow and steady, we will get there. Because he loves Play-Doh, we'll cook certain foods that he'll like. For example, he'll tell me spaghetti bolognese or, or noodles, for example. <laughs> Or noodles, for example, he he will make that with me and then we'll role play it. He'll ask me when we're doing shopping, like toy shopping, he'll go, Mama, do you want a burger? Mama, do you want a do you want a hamburger? Mama, do you want chicken? So he'll name all these food that I eat like it's nothing. I'll be like, Oh baby, if only you can start eating them as well, that'll be fantastic. But slow and steady, we will get there. We are over the moon that he's actually eating um new food he's trying new food and he's giving it a go so overall you know if parents that are going through the same stages that i'm going through with picky eating selective eating it's always it's always important that you seek help as soon as possible and also um maybe you know the child will start eating when they are ready and also lots of role play lots of cooking activities with the child when you're going shopping together maybe get them to pick what they would like to eat as well so that's what we're at now and uh my journey our journey has been worth it um working together as a team with the professionals has been very 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 supportive very helpful i, I couldn't believe this time um this year i could be saying that our son has broken that cycle of being very selective and actually trying new food you never know this time next year the child will be holding a burger in his hand obviously a burger is not as healthy meal but just he'll be holding something that uh, he finds interesting he finds yummy for example and we'll go from yucky to yummy so yeah i uh words words cannot explain how i'm feeling right now and i am just very happy and we're going to continue doing that and also i gave him small portions of food but then he started asking for more and i'll sit there and i'll be like oh if only you knew your journey so i'll give him more oh gosh no tears please yeah i'll give him more of the food that he asked and i just feel like yeah it was worth it it was worth every step of seeking the help as soon as possible working together with the professionals and just you know understanding that not all children are going to be the same when it comes to their eating patterns but as long as you know we parents support them as much as possible you know it would work it, it, it was overwhelming i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was overwhelming it was very frustrating that why is he not eating his food like he was eating and why are you not eating them now like it was so frustrating but now that we've gone to a step where you know working together again teamwork teamwork we've we've done it we've reached our goal there's still more steps to go but we've reached a goal and you know our son is trying new food every day at nursery so that is fantastic and one of the reasons as well i felt um he stopped eating because again a new environment new food because we cook Congolese food at home and at nursery they cook um english food for example and some um cultural food but that my son and us wouldn't you know have at home so i understood the um input that contributed um in regards to our son changing his patterns and i can't thank the professionals enough and us parents also by not giving up and giving him what he 
wants all the time you know always changing food about and you know explaining to him this is good because da 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 and it will keep you strong you know and you'll go tall like mama and papa so I am honestly very grateful and I hope this will help you parents as well. If you have any advice on what I can do next to um, allow him to eat more variety of food, I'll be very grateful for. But overall, this is the end of our video and I honestly hope you guys enjoy this. The sun is out. I'm very grateful. Hip hip hooray again. And my belly's beginning to rumble so I'm going to go now. So again, thank you. Bye guys.